panel and welcome to Exco Garnier Blog and Photography. I'm Steven and in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys another one of my figure photography projects. The behind the scenes, the work that went into creating this setup and photographing it all the way to the final editing process. In Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop, I will be adding the screen recording at the end of this video as well. The figure involved today is also an enterprise figure, Sega SPM press figure. This one right here. This is Sega's SPM press figure of Ed Gray from Lot Almeloy Case Files. Lot Almeloy is also another spin-off of the Fate franchise, Type Moon Staff, so she is under my own personal Fate project. Whether this figure is any good or not, you will have to wait for my review. I have already filmed it, but I have not done the editing work yet. So you can expect her figure review to follow up after this video today. Hopefully within the next few days. Firstly, we move on to the props. The floor piece, the landscape over here, made of styrofoam and aqua aquarium artificial foam. This is something we used for my previous photography project from last year. Marie Antoinette. I'm including the video in the captions below. So in that video, I describe in detail how I made this floor piece. Basically, this is styrofoam. This is aquarium rock foam, PU foam. And after I hot glue all the parts together, basically what I need to do is to glue all this artificial moss over the place with carpenter glue or even latex glue as they call it. For the background, this ancient wings over here, it looks fairly detailed fairly expensive for something meant for photographing a price figure. So personally, when I decide what kind of setup to come in, come with for the photography of a figure, it is basically down to only one single factor and it is the cost. So with price figures, I do not want the cost of the drama to be too high. It doesn't make any sense. But for a detailed scale figure, I would need to increase my budget so that the scene detail level can match up to the figure we are, uh, we, I'm photographing. However, in this specific case, the cost isn't as high as you think because everything over here is taken care of by 3D printing. So it is about the material of the used in 3D printing as well as the paint needed. The entire set of ancient wings over here together with the fans on both sides 3D printed and all I needed to do is to spray paint it. So the base grey coat on the ruins over here, I used cheap spray can paint, but for the shading, the weathering, and all those detailing parts, I made use of an airbrush so that they look more detailed as if they were real stones, real rocks in final photographs. The detailing is important. This tree right here, this one, it is the same tree I used in a photography project four years ago. Saber, Master Artoria, Bus Stop, that tree, the same exact tree. All I did was removing the leaves and adding some green color moss on the, on the body of the tree. And that is an artificial tree I bought from a gardening store online as well. However, this tree branch over here, this is my very first prototype 3D printed prop that is made from resin, resin 3D printer. I've just bought my third 3D printer recently and it is an SLA resin 3D printer. So this whole thing over here is made of resin. It is pretty much the same thing as what you are buying. If you bought those resin garage kits, resin anime figures to paint it yourself, the same exact material. Yes. So this was printed in two sections, glued together, spray painted. And all this green moss on the surface, yeah. This right here, artificial grass powder. You can buy it from hobby stores that sell miniature paints, you know, for drama making. Yes, artificial grass powder onto this using carpenter glue, wood glue, PVA glue. So this is what you get. Very simple. If you are willing to invest the time needed into making props, making this is not too difficult, especially when you have the help of 3D printing. So if I had a tree on one side, I would like to have another tree for on the other side as well in the name of composition. I wanted the scene to look balanced in the final photograph. So when you plan a specific drama project, photograph your figures in, you need to bear in mind all these small details. 
is the scene balanced or not? Sometimes one single photo, one side will be too heavy with too many things going on and the other side will feel too empty with nothing much going on. So you need balance in your scene. The composition of the final photograph depends on it. The details on the fence over here, all of the glass, that was hand painted by me. Yes, you have to paint that by hand with a paint brush. So that is all about the props used in this setup. Since the base was reused from a previous project that saved me a lot of time, I only needed to make all these parts over here. These are new parts. And 3D printing takes care more than half of the job. I only had to paint and detail it. The rest of the work, how to make it look good in photographs, depends on your photography setup. Before I move on to the lighting aspect, let me mention that background for a second. That is a custom print, translucent fabric. So you just have to put this soft box behind it and the background is taken care of, it will light up. How bright it is depends on your distance between the light and the fabric. You adjust the distance or you change the wattage of the bulb. Higher wattage for brighter bulbs. Mine is a bit different in the sense that there are several bulbs inside, there are many mounts inside. So I can control how much brighter I want it by selectively turning on only some bulbs. With this specific scene, since this is supposed to be a cold and gloomy scene, I only needed the large one to be on. The other two remains off for this specific case. And the lighting for a cloudy and gloomy scene is very easy. You only need the level of lighting to be equal both in front and behind. So I have that large background lit up and I have a pair of lights in front at an angle over here. Here and that side a pair. And I would heavily diffuse them with tissue papers and other objects to block and narrow the light so that it only hits the figure and I would adjust their brightness, lower it until it almost matches the background. So you will need your camera to determine your lighting levels. So if you have a camera in front with a live view turned on, you just keep looking at the screen then you judge yourself whether the background is too bright. If the background is too bright, in front will look fairly dark on the camera screen. So you, you either increase the light in front or you decrease the light behind. And when you got the balance between in front and behind, it will you will notice it immediately on the camera screen. Very obvious. So this is why uh, photographing a, a gloomy cloudy scene is very easy. The lighting is very easy. If this was a sunny scene, for example, you have sunlight on the top back corner over there, then you will want the background to be slightly brighter than the foreground. For example, another project of mine from the several months ago, from several months ago in January, Jack the Ripper, it was fairly similar in the sense that that was also a cold and foggy scene. But Jack the Ripper, she has a lot of skin being shown, her waist being shown. So with that kind of scenario, I wanted to emphasize on her body shape. So I have a pair of rim lights coming on from the back of the side to highlight the side of the body. With the case of F Grey over here, most of her body are covered up, so there was really no need to do a very specific rim lighting method just to highlight the shape of the figure. So the lighting process for this setup, setup is a lot easier. This is what the photo straight out of camera looks like, obviously not what I want. So the color grading process, the editing process is actually really crucial. I shall bundle in the full editing process video from here from this point onwards thank you very much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i shall see you guys again soon with the review of this figure right here goodbye